Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today is gonna to be a fun day. We're gonna give you a Stony Ridge quick tip here to keep Japanese beetles off of your fruit tree. So it's that time of year right now where Japanese beetles are running crazy here on the farm. We've got a fruit tree orchard down here with about 50 to 60 fruit trees and they are, I'm getting hit in the face with them by the way right now. They're absolutely covered with Japanese beetles. So all of our fruit has little holes in it like that. Bummer man. Good enough for the chickens though. Throw that over there to the chickens. I throw like a girl. That's okay. <laughs> so what we're going to show you today on the Stony Ridge Quick Tips is a cool device from Spectreside, and it's not a poison, it's a trap for Japanese beetles. So come along today and we'll show you how we set up these traps and how we hang them in our trees. We'll talk about wind direction, we'll talk about where to put them, how to use them, and how good they work. This works, it gets rid of Japanese beetles. Awesome. <laughs> All right guys, we've been on our piece of land here for somewhere in the neighborhood of five years. I have yet to get a peach. <laughs> so our peach trees are growing, everything's looking good, our orchard's doing good, our plums are doing good. However, about this time of year, and we're in the about middle of June, all the way through the end of July, we are bombarded with Japanese beetles, just tons of Japanese beetles. Um, I'm going to take this tree right here and I'm just going to shake it just so you guys can see how many beetles are in these trees. The whole sky is now full of Japanese beetles. Let's shake this one too. This is my favorite peach tree right here and we never get any fruit off of it and it's about four years old but we never get any fruit off of it because <laughs> there are thousands of Japanese beetles. Let me kick it again here. There we go. Some of the fruit's falling off now. So all around me, and I can hear them as soon as I kick that. Look, look on top of this shed right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but thousands and thousands of Japanese beetles. Well, we found a solution last year, and I got the solution in my hand, and I got it a little bit late this year to save our trees. So let me show you exactly what we do to control our Japanese beetles. And hopefully, year after year using these, we'll capture enough Japanese beetles where we won't have an infestation like this again. Let me show you this cool little tool. Okay, so this is a Japanese bug a bag from Spectreside. I'll post a link down in the video description. I order them by the case, guys. I think this case was somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 bucks. You need them. If you're gonna have fruit trees and you're gonna try to control these animals or critters without any kind of sprays, this is your answer right here. It's a holistic way, I guess, of caring for your fruit trees. And we don't wanna use sprays here on the farm. So we'll show you how this critter goes together real quick. It's real simple. I've had one hanging in the tree here for about, I don't know, three or four hours, something like that. You're going to be amazed at how many beetles are already in there. And as soon as I open this little scent packet, you'll start seeing beetles come to me. This is the scent packet. We'll get to that in just a second. So the trap comes with these two little plastic critters right here. And all you do is take them apart. There's a slit right there in a slit right here. This was kind of complicated for me when I first saw it. I was like, nah, nah, how's this go together? Okay, here's how it goes together. See these two dots? These two dots, we just slip them together just like that. That's exactly how they go together. Now your bag is gonna hang. Now it can hang this way or this way, it doesn't matter. But we've got these holes here and I'll show you. It comes with two baggies just like this. And the scent lasts for days and days and days as long as you don't let it get wet and let it rain. It'll wash the scent away. So we'll take one of these. This is like a giant bread tie. Whoop, let's drop it. <laughs> we'll take one of these giant bread ties. We'll run it through the hole here. Okay. We'll go up and over and we'll run it through the other hole right there. Just like that. And then we'll twist it just like a bread tie. We'll do a little twisty twist. Just like so. This works awesome guys and it's fun and if you have chickens or if you have pigs or anything that will eat bugs like this uh man what great snacks for the chickens so we'll take these bags and instead of throwing them away we'll take them and feed them to our chickens and the chickens just gobble them up okay 
So this apparatus is what hangs in the tree or whatever you decide to hang it in. You want it to be downwind. So in other words, if the wind is blowing this direction, I want it to be that way, okay? Because I want all the bugs that fly by in that direction to fly to the scent. And this is the little scent thing. It has basically a bunch of crazy ingredients that, uh, that aren't poisonous or anything like that. It's a lure. It says Japanese beetle trap to combo lure, okay? We'll open that in a second once we get the bag ready because when we open that, we're gonna start getting bugs. We'll hang out with it for a minute just so you see how many Japanese beetles come. So these bags come in here and these bags are the trap. So the beetle flies into this critter, falls down into the trap and they can't get out. Okay, you need to dispose of the bag once it's full. Pretty simple. You can either dispose of it, take it off, empty it, feed it to your chickens, and it stinks, just so you know. But chickens love bugs. They love stinky stuff, for sure. People are scared to feed their chickens stuff that has mold and crustiness on it, moldy bread, moldy whatever. Feed it to them, man. They love that stuff. The nastier it is, the more your chickens like it. And if it's not ready for them to eat, they won't eat it, period. Okay, there we go. So. You put the bag on these little hooks, it has four holes in it, and then that is your trap, okay? You will have a bottleneck right here at first. When you first set your trap, they'll bottleneck right here, but eventually you can see they're already flying in my hands and everything. Um, they'll get caught right here, but eventually they'll fall through and this whole bag will fill up. I have filled last year at least 10 bags all the way full to the top. That weighs about three pounds. That's three pounds of Japanese beetles. I don't know how many, thousands of Japanese beetles that was, but it was a lot. Okay, this is the scent packet. We'll set this guy down. The scent packet is gonna bring in uh, Japanese beetles almost immediately. I just cracked it open. Look at that. You see the Japanese beetle on my, on my finger? I just cracked it open. Isn't that amazing? Get rid of you. It stinks. It smells, it doesn't smell rotten. It smells almost fruity, okay? So, if I hold this in my hand, We'll have Japanese beetles all over my hand in just a minute. You take the scent packet, and it's got some oil in there basically, and you fold that edge over, and you put it in one of these grooves. So this little thing has a groove in it. Drop it in that groove, just like so, and drop it into that groove. Okay, come on, come on little buddy. Maybe, there we go. Stinky, there we go. Okay, so your scent packet's in there. This will hang up in a tree or wherever it is that you want it to go. So let's hang it up and then we'll give you the results here. We're gonna put the camera on, do a little time lapse because there are thousands and thousands of Japanese beetles on this tree and the scent packet on the other one got rained on. So they're not really luring in there, but they're still going in, but not like they're gonna go in this one. Let's hang it up. Just this simple. The bread tie is a long bread tie. You take it and you hang it out here on a limb. Again, you want it to be downwind uh, from where the beetles are. So there's another tree over here. This is gonna lure the beetles from this tree and the beetles that are already in this tree that we're working on. We'll put this guy up here and already <laughs> there are beetles everywhere, man. They're flying around here, they'll go in there, okay? So what happens is the beetles go to the edge of this plastic. I'll get you a close up real quick. Here's how this thing works and you see it's already working. The beetles go to the scent and then they bump into this plastic right here and they fall down in the bag. And we're already, we're probably going, there went one. <laughs> So within a couple hours here, this bag will almost be full. It'll probably be up to right there. We'll probably come back and revisit this, but you can see what's going on here. They all just come to that lure, that scent. They're even up here where I touched the scent lure. They're up there on the top of that. So pretty amazing. They're up there on that twist tie. I think it's awesome. Like I said, right there is proofs in the pudding. This works. You see how they got bottlenecked right in there? So they're all kind of filling up. There are holes in this bag, so it's perforated so that the bugs don't suffocate immediately. So that you have enough time to fill this bag up before it starts getting stinky. And after about four days, it gets rank. So you can see the bugs flying around this. The wind's blowing already. They're gonna fly in here. We're gonna give it to the end of the day and we're gonna come back and show you how many we caught. It's amazing. It's a great trap, guys, and it's, 
it's now not a pesticide. In other words, it's not a poison that you're spraying your trees with and you're not, not spraying your fruit with it. So then what you need to do is as soon as you start seeing Japanese beetles, you need to hang these in your fruit trees and they will encapsulate the Japanese beetles and hopefully solve your problem. If you got chickens like we do, they're right over there. You got awesome chicken snacks too. So we'll see you guys in a few hours after we uh, mm -hmm. count down. I guess let's, let's just give it like five hours. Once again, I'm going to show you one more time. So you get your package, you take these two pieces apart, and you see that slit and that slit, you push them together right there. Your bag comes just like this, okay? And this isn't a sponsored video or anything like this. It's just me trying to help you guys out because, man, Japanese beetles can be such a troublesome thing uh, to your flowers, to your bushes, to your fruit trees. We've got several plum trees over here that have just been decimated by them. And literally, it's only taken maybe two days for these guys to uh, to do that. So I think the Japanese beetle, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, this is our twist tie, by the way, goes in the top. Uh, I think Japanese beetles uh, come out of the ground, their uh, uh, grub that's in the ground, and they hatch out of the ground into the uh, beetle, and then they lay eggs for next year back in the ground, and the cycle completes itself. So if you can stop that cycle or put the brakes on that cycle, it's very helpful. Again, these little tabs, you take that and push it right through there, just like that. Pretty simple, but it <laughs> tends to fall apart. It's not the most uh, robust trap in the world. It's a throwaway item. Uh, typically, what I'll do, and just like this, there's a, a little technique. In case you're expecting some rain, you can protect your scent from the rain. So this is how it opens. There's a little tab right here. This is the lure. This one, of course, isn't going to work with me. That's the lure. So you pull that back. So if you bend this over just a little bit like that, give it a little kink, that gives it a little rain shelter. Pull this off and it's pretty sticky, pretty, <laughs> I don't say sticky, it's kind of oily. Okay, you pull that off. You see that little hook right there, a little hoop? Um, that makes a little shed to keep the rain out. Take this lid and rub, rub that oil inside here, okay? Rub it all over the place. Don't waste it, um, use it. Then take this with the top bent over and slide it into two slots that are side by side, just like that. So you'll see some are offset. You want the two that are side by side, just like so. You just stick those little plastic tabs in there and it stays. And now you've got a little rain shed over top of it. And then go hang that right in your tree. We'll see you guys again mm -hmm. in just a minute when we get our bounty for the day. There is at least that much already and I've been over here for 20 minutes. There's that much at the bottom of that bag already. I'm gonna say we're gonna have a five gallon bucket full of Japanese beetles by the end of the day. Look, there's one, <laughs> they're already coming to the lure. It's crazy, this works, man. Awesome. Now you may find it difficult to justify the price of buying a case. Again, it's about 70 bucks for a case of these, but they're going to last year after year after year. And you can put several of them around your property, around your yard or your house or whatever. So uh, I don't find that it's hard to justify uh, spending the money because your fruit trees will definitely appreciate it. You're just going to set your fruit trees back a, t a whole year if you let these Japanese beetles uh, consume your fruit tree. So that's not what you want to do. You want to pay attention and take care of business. That's what we do here on the farm. I think it's like 72 bucks for how many is in there? 12. That's not bad. Well worth it. Plus it's fun. <laughs> Guys, if that ain't proof, I don't know what is. That is unbelievable. Wow. That's three minutes after I hung it in that tree right there. Three minutes. Here we are, and these are the two bags that we hung up. And this is about two hours later. You can see this bag has yeah, about that much in the bottom of it. And this bag over here, uh, it's loading up too. And it's still working. So if you see, they're hanging on the limbs. 
right above you can see them flying around everywhere now so if i shake them off they go in the bag eventually what we'll do is we'll empty those and take them to the chickens if you don't have chickens you can empty those into a garbage bag or a bucket or something like that throw them in the trash can uh, or the composter if you compost but we've got 10 of these excuse me 12 of these placed throughout the orchard out here and in our fruit trees so anyway that's how you get rid of japanese beetles hope you guys enjoyed this stony ridge quick tip i got a bunch of work to do so thanks a lot for joining me pound the like button i hope you'll subscribe to the channel come on back and see us all right we'll Woo! come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your kids we